Hey everybody, this is Doug with Artfully Rogue. So I need to make a new mailbox post for my house and I figured since I've got a metal shop I might as well make it out of metal and since I do kind of some more creative stuff I figured I'd go for the artsy flair abstract kind of thing. However, I got in a groove and I forgot to videotape a lot of it uh, until about halfway through. So the first part of this video is basically going to be me showing you some of the materials that I used and maybe how I cut them or maybe what I did to measure them and put them all together and, and whatnot. So I hope this video isn't like, you know, too collage-y, um, but hey, it's a video and I wanted to share this project with you. So here we go. For the mailbox post, I decided to use a four inch by four inch square tube that has a .120 wall. I cut it to five feet, and then I went ahead and drew on my address numbers and then cut that out with a plasma. Okay, so this is actually a different project, but it's the same process in which I use on the post box. So on the side of the post box, I have some kind of like flary looking abstract design. And what I did is I cut the shape out and then I took a piece of, uh, I want to say it was 20 gauge sheet steel and then I wrapped it and welded it. So as you can see, that's what I've done on this piece here. This will then also get a piece of 20 gauge. This is actually just sheet metal for now, but then that's gonna get closed up, that'll get welded, and then it closes it all up. So for the actual mailbox itself, I used a piece of eight inch by eight inch square tubing. It has an eighth inch wall, and then I closed up the back side, kind of the way I did the decorative art pieces, and then put a hinge and a flap on the front, welded a little tab, put a magnet in there, and then made a little shield to go around it so that would keep the uh, rain out. So now I'm gonna make the little flag portion for the mailbox. Uh, this is gonna mount to the side, uh, you know, so like when you have outgoing mail that you can put your flag up. And I decided that I would go ahead and do something kind of like circular and fun, mainly because I had some uh, pieces left over from some hole saw projects, uh, and that's gonna make my flag. So in order to get the patina that I wanted, I have to remove the mill scale off of the mailbox and as I did on the mailbox post. So I'm using the uh, muriatic acid to remove the mill scale. After the acid sits on the metal for a little while, I'll take a small like toothbrush and I'll rub off most of the mill scale. I wanted to leave some of the mill scale on just for accent. And so now I'm adding hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide mixed with muriatic acid, as you see, creates an instant rust. And for me, it's just a really cool look uh, because it runs down the side. It has like these really cool drip patterns. And the longer that you let it sit, the bit darker that it gets. And so here's the mailbox post with the acid and peroxide treatment. And now I'm just spraying a clear coat on the mailbox, that way to seal and to stop the rusting process. So in order to attach the flag, I'm gonna use a uh, quarter inch bolt and a nut, and I want to remove the zinc from the uh, piece of hardware, that way it matches the mailbox. So I'm gonna take this, drop it in some muriatic acid, and as you can see, that's gonna start removing the zinc off of the uh, hardware. I decided to bolt the mailbox on as opposed to weld it on uh, just in the event that I had to repair it for any reason if we had any vandalism that happened in the neighborhood um, I could take it apart take it to the shop do what it needs to do and then just reattach it and so I'm gonna add a little color to the uh, mailbox this is gonna be the only color um, like bright color on the mailbox is gonna kinda of do a red flag. We'll see how that looks.
Okay, so that's it. Red flag is attached. Uh, actually, the mailbox is totally attached uh, into the ground now. Um, as you can see, I added some mesh inside the tube, and then I added some rocks to kind of give it a little bit of a contrast. And then I put on a, uh, a four inch cap. That way the rocks stay where they need to stay in. So there we go. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It's greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.